Before we start multiplication of two digit numbers, let's make sure you are comfortable with one digit numbers. Try evaluating this product, 3 times 5. And by the way, product is the word for what we get when we multiply numbers together. Three times five equals 15. We can think of three times five as adding up three groups of five together because multiplication of whole numbers is like repeated addition. So if we draw five columns of dots with three dots each, then the total number of dots here is what three times five. Next, let's see what happens when you multiply a two digit number. So instead of multiplying 3 and 5, try evaluating 13 times 5. Thirteen times five equals sixty-five because thirteen times five is like adding thirty gro thirteen groups of five together. But it is getting difficult to perform this addition as numbers are getting larger. So to make this simpler to multiply, we can use the expanded form of the numbers. Let's expand the number thirteen here. 13 can be expanded as 10 plus 2, 10 plus 3. That means adding 13 groups of 5 is the same thing as adding 10 groups of 5 and 5 groups of 3 groups of 5 separately and then adding both the products. Let's try this. 10 times 5 is simply equals 50 and 3 times 5 is 15. Adding 50 and 15 gives us 65. That means 13 times 5 equals 65. So we can make the multiplication simpler by using the expanded form of the numbers. Next, find the product of 27 and 6. Make sure you expand 27 to make this multiplication easier. 27 can be expanded as 20 and 7. Now 20 times 6 equals 120 and 7 times 6 equals 42. Finally 120 plus 42 equals 162. So by taking the expanded form of two digit numbers we can convert the multiplication to one digit number. Here you can see we still had two digit number, but these numbers are friendly numbers. They end with zeros. And when we multiply friendly numbers, we simply multiply the non zero digits and write the product with zeros. Like here, we multiplied one and five, which is five and write five with zero. Similarly, here we multiplied two and six, that's 12 and write 12 with 0. So we can see that still we had the multiplication of one digit numbers. Next let's try and multiply a two digit number by another two digit number like 13 and 17. Here we can expand both the numbers. 13 can be expanded as 10 plus 3 and 17 can be expanded as 10 plus 7. Now we can multiply these four numbers separately. Let's take a grid to solve this in a systematic manner. Writing 10 and 3 right here and 10 and 7 up here. Now we can multiply all the numbers easily. Starting with units. 7 times 3 equals 21 and 7 times 10 equals 70. Next, 3 times 10 equals 30 and 10 times 10 equals 100. Now, adding all the sum, all the products to find the final product. First, we are finding the sum of 70 and 21, which is 91, and then 130, which is 130. 
finally we can add both the sums 130 plus 91 finally equals 221 so that means 13 times 70 equals 221 so this is how we can make the two digit number multiplication simpler now try the one yourself like 12 times 24 make sure you expand both the numbers to make this multiplication easier for you Twelve can be expanded as ten and two, and twenty-four can be expanded as twenty and four. Now we had to multiply all of these four numbers one by one, starting with units. So four times two equals eight, and four times ten equals forty. Next, two times twenty, which equals forty, and finally, twenty times ten equals two hundred. As again I am highlighting that when we are multiplying friendly numbers ending with zeros so we are just multiplying the digits like 2 times 1 is 2 and we add 2 zeros because both the numbers had 1 0 in them. So this is the one digit number multiplication. Okay so now we have multiplied all the four numbers separately now finding the sum of all of these numbers which is 288 so 12 times 24 equals 288 so you have seen that how you can expand the two digit numbers and you can convert the multiplication to one digit number I hope you have understood this so please try out some questions and practice it on IXL as well thank you so much